हाय ऑल दिस इज सुप्रीति पंडा आई एम ए सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियर एट माइंड फायर सोल्यूशन्स टूडेज टॉपिक इज ई वी आई एम नॉट श्योर हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव ऑलरेडी हार्ड अबाउट दिस पेमेंट गेट वे बट आई हैड कम अप विथ सम इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स दैट ई वे प्रोवाइड्स विच आई थिंक आई शुड बेसिकली डिस्ट्रीब्यूट द नॉलेज अमोंग ऑल ऑफ अस so that we know what is this e way and how it is beneficial when we should use this payment gateway the lot of uh, popular payment gateways exist mostly uh, whenever we say uh, the payment gateway people uh, wants to use authorized dot net or paypal those are the two most popular uh, payment gateways still now so i was also using paypal uh, in most of my projects Uh, one day when i uh, uh, came to paypal i got some problems with paypal what are these problems so that that thing we will discuss first so what happened basically when i implement the paypal rest api i found they have some restrictions like the paypal uh, rest api doesn't work on like uh, it works on specific countries it works on U- us uk fully but on some other countries there are some restrictions like in australia i saw that they and they are allowing paypal uh, transaction but they don't allow the credit card transaction only only for australian merchant but if you are a us or uk merchant then uh, it works um, fantastic so in that way i was searching for some other payment gateway because i want some australian payment gateway so when i searched for it i came came to know about this eway which um, not only gives the ability to um, process the paypal account uh, as well as the credit card account Um, but also it gives lot of features which we will see one by one and see how beneficial it is uh, so this is about me you can contact me on my email id supriti@mindfiresolutions.com or to my gmail id supriti@gmail.com here is my skype id also mfsi_supriti_p so uh, let's see first we will see the agenda first we will see what is this e way obviously i have uh, told you this is a payment gateway and i have also explained why i uh, go like why i search for this e way i will see some of the features of it and uh, we will see who are using e way right now and we will see what are the benefits of using this e way then we will discuss some of the apis that eway provides and then there is a very good api they are providing which is rapid 3.1 it consists of all the apis like functionalities which uh, actually eway provides and then there are some services that also eway provides that we will see then there is a reporting system basically when we e think of a payment gateway what are the things we think Uh, like um, why do we choose the payment gateway right so in that way what are the things mainly we think mostly it should allow the uh, paypal and uh, credit card it should process the paypal and credit card both right and second thing we think about security it should be secure and third thing we, uh, we think of like um, the admin interface like the setup setup of the payment gateway should be very easy right and it should be quick one and then we think of the admin interface the reporting should be uh, very nice and filterable so that we can generate any reports and uh, send invoices to our customers if needed right so those are all the things we think of when we think of a payment gateway so that is how i am seeing this eway also uh so this eway is a popular payment gateway used by business over australia new zealand and united kingdoms so there is this restriction is there uh, there by eway like it only allows the merchants of australia new zealand and united kingdom so if you have any clients from australia or new zealand or uk 
then you can uh, think of this e-way option e-way as a payment gateway option and um, then it gives the 30 day money back guarantee if you are not satisfied then it's trusted by 15,000 plus organizations which are using it and trust this e-way and expert global 24 uh, by 7 support yeah this is a very good thing like whenever you go for a payment gateway right you integrate any of the payment gateway most of the time uh, uh, like you need a support right like suppose you have uh, written all the code correctly according to your knowledge but it doesn't work somehow it shows you some error obviously you can get documents which will show you what this error means how will you fix it you can search in google but uh, at the end if you don't get any solution what do you do you usually write an email to the support team right same thing for eBay. you can also write a support like uh, um, an email to the support team then how is it different the difference is uh, along with the email support it also gives you the online chat support so eBay has a online chat system if you have registered like uh, um, with eBay, then you can give your customer the ID and easily log into eBay and uh, easily chat with eBay people who are available and ask all your questions and doubts. In that way, it saves your time where you are uh, sending emails, they will reply like uh, in one day or two days, then you have some more questions, then you are replying them again. But here as you are doing the online chat, you can clarify all your doubts at a time and uh, which is very beneficial I, I came through. So except that it supports all major banks and cards over Australia, New Zealand and UK and there is PCI DSS certified so you don't need to worry about that EVA will steal your customers. Uh, credit card information and do something it's PCI DSS certified so it will save you your customers credit card and will not hamper anything then go global with multi currency pay payment that is also you th think of whenever you go for a payment gateway you like you select a payment gateway you obviously want a option you should support the multi currency payment you can um pay from one country like from one country to another country people right so multi-currency support has to be there then so eva has it also then easy online setup so you can go live quicker as i have told uh, it gives you easy online setup and uh, it can be like uh, you can make your account live it takes like uh, around 60 minutes or uh, sometimes it takes longer than that the max days is five days they have said then payment products tell to your need uh, you can use your payment products that they are providing e we are providing according to your need then flexible reports as i have told that uh, um, like uh, on the admin side you obviously need a, a flexible report which you can filter and generate your outcome right so eva provides that flexible report to track your success to track all your orders to track all your customer orders then we will see who, who are the eva clients right there are a lot of eva clients like you can see australian geographic and then there is uh, Puma and Canon, Pentax. A lot of people are like uh, gradually using eBay because of its benefits. So let's see what are the benefits of using the eBay. First, uh, first of all, it's fast instance processing and quick payments. Like uh, PayPal has instant payment, it has also instance processing and uh, the payment uh, is made very quickly and it's fast, fast to integrate, fast to uh, the transact money. So that's the thing. And then it has 24 by 7 by 365 support, not only through email but also through the online chat system which is very very beneficial and it saves all your time 
then uh, it's straightforward easy to use as i said the documents are there still if you have problems you can chat with their support team and clarify and it's stra straightforward and very easy to use then there is easy to set up it's also very easy to set up there are not a lot of things to set up so it's easy to set up then recurring payments are a bridge here um, obviously we also provides the recurring payment facility you can generate a recurring payment and it will deduct the money every month or every uh, year that you can specify if you ha don't have in no merchant account no this so if you don't have a merchant account no this you can create it okay so it's a test merchant account you can create and test all your things so which is very good and tools to help you sell more and there are a lot of tools eBay provides which you can use to sell your components i will show some of the services or tools they provide so then payment process directly on your website like uh, like other payment gateway here also uh, eBay provides you facility to um, process the payment directly on your site either you can move to eBay site and pay it or you can do it directly uh, from your website using eBay APIs which they provide they provide XML uh, XML uh, uh, SOAP API and then they provide the REST API they also provide some of uh, so for some of the services there are straight post uh, APIs available. We will see them later. Except that it's easy, comprehensive reports are there. Like I said in the admin, when you log in, you can see uh, all the reports. You can filter by the customers. You can filter by the locations. You can filter uh, by in uh, different months. So it's it's very easy and uh, like very. Uh, very easy to use and uh, very like uh, it's very beneficial for you it's very useful the reports are very useful then activate bigger fraud alert this is a very good thing i came across like uh, uh, if you are seeing like um, the same credit card is being used by different customers right then it will uh, alert the admin a bigger fraud alert it's like might be a fraud right it's not sure also uh, it has an enterprise database which stores some of the fraud credit cards so if some credit card tries to uh, have this like uh, access this then it will match with the database and alert the admin also there are some other restrictions like you can say that i don't want people from nepal or from China whichever country you want right no, you don't want people from that country to uh, um, do the payments in your site then you can restrict them there are also uh, two more things which is available either you can say that uh, uh, like uh, stop the um, transactions or stop the payments from this area or you can say that uh, there will be a uh, like admin who will um, for those transactions will occur but it will not be processed till admin will log in to eBay account and approve them uh, manually so on the back end admin has to uh, log in to the eBay and on the back end he has to approve those transactions which are bigger fraud so the, those are settings which are available you can do it through eBay uh, which is a very good service I came across for this eBay. Then links to all major banks, like I said, it links to all major banks over Australia, New Zealand, so uh, and UK. So it's easy to use the payment gateway and process your uh, card and. <coughs> then uh, thorough and clear documentation it has a lot of documentation for each and every api so it's very helpful you can go through those documents and uh, implement your code and there are some sample codes also available in some of the language but if it doesn't have also for shop api it says uh, for example it says which url uh, like what is the uh, soap wsdl it shows that 
also it says what url you have to request what is the request parameter what is the response parameter uh, you will know everything from the document <coughs> and uh, straightforward api is api is very straightforward and then there is token payment service what is this token payment service like basically if you want to save a customer record you can save uh, along with customer the, uh, credit card information you can save his data in the um, eway and eway will provide you a token and that token you can use it to do for the transaction or to check the transaction status of that user so there are various things you can do through token payment so this is a very good uh, service they are providing and uh, uh, like you can say that okay they are saving my like eway is saving my credit card i am not saving the credit card information in my server right so i don't need to be worry about that somebody will steal data so this is a benefit of using eway and second thing is you can think of okay uh, i am still storing i am not storing the credit card information but i am still storing the token right so any user who hacks to my database like the server database not eway but my uh, own server database then they can get that token number and can use it yeah it's correct but where they will use it they, they can use it in our site only right and uh, second thing is it will just uh, work with this merchant also third thing is like i said uh, like um, uh, like i said like this uh, token <coughs> like if there is any bigger fraud uh, thing uh, that eway will uh, think it's a um, bigger fraud then it will send an alert to admin so that is where you will get some benefit then it has multi language capability you can say like uh, suppose uh, uh, eway is integrated in a china site right and then uh, china um, customers or some other customers are coming to your site and doing check out after doing check out eway will send also an invoice right so if eway is sending the invoice in some other language right with the that person that customer is not able to understand then it's a problem right so you can say which language it is so it supports multiple language and then full sandbox support all the apis you can test with sandbox account except one there is a query service uh, when i check it uh, uh, like when i was implementing it integrating this eva i came across this problem which is the like um, query service is not possible to check with sandbox account but except that all other apis you can check with the sandbox support then we will see different apis like i said the apit 3.1 it's a very popular um, like api they are providing it has lot of lot of functionality which you need to implement like when i talk to the eway <coughs> eway support people when i ask them some question they said that you use this apit 3.1 it will have all the features in it so uh, if you are not going directly to co token payment or direct payment or recurring payment <coughs> you can use this app at 3.1 and get uh, all of these things uh, like most of these things then there is direct payment token payment i have explained some of the part of token payment then there is recurring payment bigel fraud alert enterprise then big light then 3d secu 3d secure simple payment authorization then refunds let's see it one by one we'll uh, discuss it one by one uh, and uh, go deep in into it so uh, these are also some api stored payment pre auth 24 hour query service so let's see first is rapid 3.1 what is this rapid 3.1 gives it gives you the responsive hosted payments create custom payment page based on responsive design principles 
to ensure customers on various devices are presented with a seamless checkout experience it gives you a hosted payment page like you can um, host your payment page in e way you can give your logo and and give whatever information you want to but it will be hosted in the e way and it it is responsive so anywhere like you check it in your web browser in your computer or on your iphone or ipad it will show that um mm, it will show uh, the window which uh, used for payment it will uh, um be like uh, um let me show you like see this is the iphone this is the ipad so it's links right here the payment page looks like this here the payment page looks like this so that is where it comes into uh it's a responsive design then it has the font capability like i said rapid 3.1 gives lot of things it has the refund capability save time implementing one api instead of two like instead of uh, implementing two three apis right if all the things are provided in one api this is good right this is more easier to Im implement it so that is where it comes to then there is transaction types like there are some transaction type where like 3d secure password is needed like for some of the banks it will be direct like for some of the cards it will be direct to your bank uh, uh, url and there you have to give you like the customer has to give their 3d secure password so that is also supported by ebay then it has a bigger verify like i say Uh, if there is any fraud attacks uh, it uh, came came through then it will send an sms or an email to the admin uh, so that uh, alert to your customer also at check out to verify their identity okay then there is direct connections merchants with certified pci dss compliance environment can request access to a server side <laughs> like uh, you can either go uh, to the e e way that uh, responsive hosted payment and do the transaction over there or you can be inside your web application where the form will be there and it will uh, uh, capture all the credit card information from the customer and sends directly to the um, e way so there actually uh, you will not do any api on the form itself form action you will give that uh, um rapid key point like eways url so when the customer enters and hit uh, process my credit card or pay it then it will uh, the customer's uh, credit card information will be direct like uh, directly go in in the eway account and then eway will redirect to your website after processing the payment so that is the direct connection here uh, i have shown you this example it's responsive this is how the app 3.1 will look like if you implement it then there is direct payment in direct payment like uh, there are two difference here one is direct connection like i said the form will be there and the action will be the eway url but here direct payment uh, here the form will be inside your website and your website will capture all the information and then in your script you will use the api code to uh, do the direct payment like we have paypal right paypal we have express checkout direct checkout and direct checkout you will uh, get all the credit uh, like credit card or debit card information in your website and then through api you will process it in paypal but express checkout you redirect it to the uh, in paypal so it's same um, here also direct payment it takes all the credit card information and process it this is the uh, 
direct payments uh, request uh, XML look like. Uh, here uh, you need to remember uh, <coughs> uh, you need to remember e even the sum of the information are not the required fields right uh, those are uh, uh, like um, even though you don't enter it it will fine but in this XML you cannot omit any of the uh, nodes all the nodes like uh, suppose uh, which one like eway option one it's not there right you can say so you you cannot remove this node it will be there but it will not have any data okay so what are this option one option two option three if you want to send some of the extra information for this payment then you can send it over here and these are the all the credit card information it's collecting and this is all customer information uh, this is the sample response of the direct payment you will get the transaction as true or false if it is true then it will send you the transaction number and if you have sent some options then it will send you back and then uh, there is one more thing here like direct payment you are using the SOAP, uh, SOAP API over here. So, in the SOAP API, you have to send the SOAP header, and in the SOAP header, you have to send the eBay customer ID and then username and then the password. These are the three things you have to send. Okay, so uh, this customer ID you can log into eBay, like I can show you. Once you log into this eBay, uh, then you can go to your profile. In the profile below, you can see here is the sandbox URL, and here is your username, and here is your customer ID. And your uh, password, obviously, you remember that right? you have uh, used that to create this account. That's the same password. then I will see this then we will see token payments like I said in token payment you create a customer you give all uh, like you save all the customer data along with their credit card information on the eBay and then it returns you the uh, token for that customer then that token you can use it to do the update customer if the customer information is changed then you can use it to up update customer data query customer if you want to query some, the, some of the transactions or customers mm, like uh, receive their details if you want to uh, get the customer information you can do a query customer and get it then you can do process payment you can use that token and process a payment then process payment with cbn like i said charge one of the safe credit card with a card verification number for enhanced security like i said it will be direct there you will give card verification number then query payment also it supports like um, any of the um, payments which are processed that you can query and check the status of the payment and process payment with Beagle like with Beagle alert you can process like check the customer's IP address for security purpose and this is some example right um, there are some Beagle rules that I'll show you so this is one of the rule you can use it then query customer by reference send a transaction number to the gateway and receive the details of the transaction 
then it has recurring payment recurring payment is ideal for subscription or installments allowing to automatically charge customer on a daily or weekly or fortnightly or monthly basis you can basically define uh, in this is a recurring payment and it's a weekly recurring payment then eve will automatically e process the transaction against that uh, customer then it has beagle fraud alert enterprise like i said a beagle fraud alert enterprise is an enterprise level alerting system which utilizes reds world leading fraud prevention um, prevention engine to provide superior protection for your business so th that's a good thing and beagle light is not enterprise one it uses the geo ip rules to block flag potential potential transaction rules are declared within my eve like uh, beagle light is not uh, like um, enterprise level so anybody can use it and uh, they can uh, set the rules in the uh, eve account itself these are the different rules you can say if the country matches this don't uh, this is a big fraud alert or uh, only allow transactions from australia or um, you can say about proxy do, do not allow proxy or free emails maximum the score like big uh, rule um, creates is uh, rule like it creates a score out of 10 it's 3 or 4 or 5 so you can say that okay if the risk is greater than 5 then don't allow it that also you can do and then there is 3d secure simple payment authorization 3d secure uh, what is this 3d secure customer with 3d secure activation on their credit card will redirect via html form and post to a web page hosted by their bank where they will um, be asked to enter their pin number they will enter their pin number and then uh, they will be verified the customer <coughs> i mean the credit card and then the transaction will happen the refunds also you can do it easily like uh, you can use this uh, api to refund to any of the customer then there is stored payment this is a very good service they are allowing what they do whenever uh, if you do a stored payment it allows eve to store transaction without processing it until merchant gives approval by uh, by my eve so when it will be useful <coughs> in some of the sites you will see the merchants who are drop shipping or selling what do you mean by drop shipping like um, i have a website okay but i don't store all those products the merchants are coming and they are the showcasing their products in my website and when customers are coming and order for their products first i will go and check with the merchant whether it's still available or not right if it's still available and the uh, merchant <coughs> says that okay i am able uh, i will be able to um, transfer like uh, i will be able to deliver this then only a uh, admin will go like uh, he will log in to his eve account and approve it so there store payment you can use it transaction will be logged but it will not be approved till admin approves it then there is a pre auth service which is also a very good service uh, they are providing what is this pre auth in pre auth solution allows merchants to reserve fund like uh, this is a uh, uh, sometimes it's helpful like um, whose prices are dependent on variable cost like you can say uh, Uh, shipping charge you can take an example okay suppose uh, the merchant is from australia and i am um, like i am purchasing it in india right 
then the price will differ because uh, first of all the indian currency and australian currency right it, like doesn't like you can say that it's a variable cost right or uh, there is also one more thing when you ship the product right so uh, it might be uh, you don't know what uh, region the customer belongs to in the beginning so you cannot define the price so it's a variable cost so you log that or uh, you reserve that funds from that customer's credit card once you know how much that will uh, uh, like how much that will uh, charge then you will charge to the customer so this is like a authorization you do then 24 hour query service like i have mentioned uh, it doesn't have a IPN like PayPal has a instant payment notification, a black background service whenever any transaction occurs, it will uh, send uh, a notification to your server. It doesn't have this. So for that 24 hour query service will be helpful if any transaction happens. You can check the status or the, can check the transaction. <coughs> uh, through this service, query service, but there are the one uh, restriction over there like it restricts to last only for 24 hours. So if the transaction happen in between 24 hours, uh, then only it will send you a correct result, otherwise it will send you error. Then uh, this is a service they are providing which is batch payment. Suppose uh, uh, I am a call center, right? People are taking calls and taking orders from different customers. So they have to go and one by one they have to enter and then uh, do the transaction. Instead of that, they can create a Excel sheet or a CSV. There they will uh, um, enter all the customers' data. Like uh, suppose. I have taken uh, 20 calls or 50 calls from different customers. Then I will make that Excel sheet or the CSV file. Then I can import it in the eBay. So that is called batch payment. Obviously, there will be a format that you can get, but that they supports. Then this is something they uh, provide that is IVR interactive voice response. This is a software they provide which you can use to use it for interactive voice response. Suppose uh, like you have seen in mobile, right? When you um, call to the mobile center or the, uh, the um, uh, you can say the internet service, right? And there is a voice uh, like. Um, interactive uh, voice response comes in came in like if you are uh, if you want to talk in english then press one if you want to talk in hindi then press two like that right so this service also they provide through which customer can pay it they can uh, type it on their keyboard through this interactive voice response and then <coughs> 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 A reporting system as I have said uh, it gives a very very good reporting system which you can track all your online payments know who are your customers filter the uh, um, filter the online payments for your customer it will locate like um, filter it by your um, sales location refine data like you say okay i need this 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 column i don't want this 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 column right so you can refine that data and generate the report so that is also beneficial if you want to generate such report you can uh, customize it and automate your systems like i said uh, mm, then export it in pdf or csv you can export the report that you have automated or defined that into a PDF or CSV. And manage pay invoices if uh, you want to invoice to a customer, then you can do it because you can filter by customer. Additional user accounts. Suppose uh, you are the eBay admin, but you don't need to log in every time and do each and every stuff, right? 
so you can create some staff account give them different permissions and they can log in and can do only that much suppose you want a staff to generate some reporting so you can give that ability in eway so they can handle that so that's all about eway if you see some of the things i will show here these are the apis that we have discussed here you can see there is also code available here and the token payment web service this uh, document is there all these are in references so you can go through it and use it and this is rapid 3.0 but uh, you can use it for rapid 3.1 also then this is the merchant for shared page this is an example of 3.1 how it work you can say okay okay there is one more thing when you uh, uh, use the sandbox account the minimum amount for a, a transaction you have to do 10 australian dollar that is the restriction because uh, when i mm, have integrated this direct uh, payment I was trying it with one AUD and it was not working and it was throwing some error. Now when I check with the support team, they say that you have to minimum give 10 AUD only for sandbox account, not for live. Okay. So you can say get code and display shared page. I'll show you how rapid 3.1 will show you uh, take some time uh, in between you can see rapid 3.1 api details are here you can get api reference transaction the direct direct connection how you can integrate this so even a rapid 3.1 api allows you to uh, pay through paypal not only through credit card you can use through paypal as well which is a good thing right you don't need to go for two payment gateway like um, paypal and some other you use eway and it will allow you to pay through paypal as well as credit card good thing here you see here it gives option either you go through visa or mastercard or you um, pay through paypal you can do this So this is a customized page you can you uh, like create it like this on eway. Then there are some free webinars which are they are providing they are like uh, some of them in July and one like all are on July and some of them are on August so you can register and see it. See here let's chart this is the functionality they give you to chart. So if you click on that, it will connect to your support team and you can e see, you can easily chat with them, which is good, right? Then, these are all the points. That's all for today. If you have any questions, you can email me or contact me on Skype. Thank you all. This is all the references that I have shown just now and you can connect to our mindfire site. Thank you.